What is up, YouTube friends and family? This is your buddy Israel. Yeah, I'm not dead. I'm still hanging in. <laughs> it's just been a long haul, buddy. Um, coming to bring you and actually do a shout out to something totally different than coins. So, um, as you can see, we got Isabel. We started out with this top fin, eight gallon aquarium. And um, some guppies. We got some fancy guppies in there. Um, we'll do. Uh, I didn't know they did shows with them. So, what we started doing is we're gonna try to get our own breed, our own little strain going, and set them up and see where they go. Uh, we bought some. Hold on, baby. Daddy's videoing. Uh, try to teach her responsibility. We bought some about a month ago, and they actually had babies. Let's see, I don't know if you guys can see them in there. Hold on, baby. Hold on, baby. Get out the light. Get out the light for them. Let me fix my camera. Hold on. Let me take this off. Let me get back. There's piles of them little suckers in there. There's one right there in the middle. Well, oh, tripod's falling. Hold on. I'm going to have to pick it up with my hands. You can see one. There's, there's some along the edge here. They're all... There's some... Sorry, camera keeps trying to flip down. But they're all through there right now. I think they're hiding that artificial grass and some real grass. Um, doing it like this right here, you have to do frequent water changes, which it like in a week or two weeks. See those in this aquarium right here? They'd be about that big. And you can put them in the aquarium. And here's some of the setup of this one. We have the. He's been a naughty boy. He's actually in the basket I put the females in when they had babies. And um, so I ain't got to go around collecting babies all throughout or worry about the other fish eating them because they're not really good parents. Once they have babies, they don't care about them. They're gone. So that's why we have this little three and a half gallon tote. Hi, Daddy. Hey, baby. But um, yeah, here's some of our guppies. Some of them are some that we're going to try to get some genetics off of. Some that's just fish you know and then we have some beautiful double sword tails that come in from get gills uh they're out of texas we have a sunken ship this is blocking the view and then behind it we had the bubbler it bubbles up and stuff i had to put a, a thing around my filter so it didn't suck up babies um so this is a lot that's a long 20 or either a 30 i can't remember and like i say this is a eight gallon uh top fin uh, when taking water out of it, you don't have to, but you ain't going to pick it up. I mean, you can pick it up, but you don't have to pick it up. You just flip the switch over right here, and it comes to the side, and um, it pumps the water out for you. But this one over here, like, I use my, uh, when I do frequent water changes or treatments or whatever my water, I take and I use, a, a, like, the cleaner to kind of get the water out. But uh, let's get back in to, uh, I know her name, I think it's Miss, pretty 100% sure it's Miss Sherry. Um, her and her husband runs a place in Texas. They're called Get Gills. And they have some, go to their website, like Google it or whatever, and you'll see they have some beautiful, I mean beautiful fish. Me, I just ordered some baby fish, which would be like the fry you just seen in here. To try to grow get bigger and they will like you see in my tank some of the babies but um anyway we had ordered we ordered 20 snake skin guppies and a, hold on, Isabel, a breeder dumbo guppy uh that was already bred um and we have mickey mouse uh platies back there too but um that's already bred and that was back on um, UPS must be very very busy because we ordered these fish on the 18th of last month okay they went they moved and then disappeared went and sat in Puerto Rico they was in Puerto Rico for 10 days it took me 20 days to get fish and I just knew they was everyone who want to be dead but by some miracle there was a few alive and that was only because they'd done such awesome packaging i mean we had the other box had holes all in the sides um 
like right here stabbed one of the the bags had been popped um it just wasn't good at all so um but the bag that didn't get busted was actually a, a gift one of the gifts to isabel that they gave her because <laughs> uh, it was her first species and stuff but um she was tickled pink about it but yeah guys check them out they have a lot a lot i just wrote this up here that's what you that's the website you look for you type in get yields they're in brownsville texas i think is where they're at of um right here and even this package this package went way too long for some reason i don't know what's going on with ups but as you can see right here she reshipped me when she found out about that after it passed that certain amount of days before they even got here the other package even got here she's redone my order no questions asked other than you know she knew what was going on because she watched tracking but she just felt so bad and i'm like you know it's not your fault you did your end you know it's up to ups to do theirs so you know no hard feelings like i told her don't don't be hard on yourself because you couldn't help it but as you see this was shipped out on 828 and i just received it today what's the day the eighth Kayla? six today's the six i'm sorry so that's how many days it took a flat rate box to come in it's a lot better than 20 days but we just get into her and see what we got. Try not to drag this out too long. But yeah, I got some picky cypress. So I was going to go outside and get a, a piece of the end, a end piece of it and show you guys what it looks like. But that's what I'm going to build the stands. These two aquariums on. And I already got a couple different layouts of what I want them to look like. Oh, Isabel, don't turn that on, baby. That'll hurt your eyes. And um, I'm going to figure out. Me and Kayla, whatever. We're going to figure out which one we want. We're going to go with that. Yeah, then, till the end right now if it's not broke don't fix it so they're sitting there chilling everything's thriving having babies and doing good isabel look at daddy come here come here come right here come right here and say hello to everybody hello, uh, say hello everybody hello everybody <laughs> tell them what you got you some new fishies yeah fishies <laughs> all right just my heart right there guys well, let's get into this box and pray that they're alive Alrighty. Yeah, she, like she was on it. She stayed on my other package. She stayed on this. Like I say, before it was even time, she shipped it out because, like, she felt bad. And I'm like, you know, don't feel bad. But she was on top of it, buddy. And I appreciate that, uh, Miss Sherry, and your husband. They're they're wonderful people that I've come to know. You know, uh, maybe it's a good thing that this, uh, the. Um, the daggum package messed up because I got to get to know them a little better, you know, by talking to them on the phone. So, very, very, very nice people. Let's see what we got. Okay, this is our thing. Wow. She sent us some more bonus double sword tail, double sword flat, uh, double sword uh, guppies mixed with neons. Ah, uh, this one. All righty. There's that. Let's set that out of the way. Now let's get in here. She, like I say, for them fish to live 20 days, I don't know how they did it, but she told me like the water will be blue and stuff is to keep the fish alive, and she she did an amazing job. Her and her husband and staff. I see fish moving. Oh, that is awesome. Excuse me, baby. Let's see what we got. Oh my goodness. And they are big enough to go in the aquarium. Awesome. Look at the fry. Snake skin. Those are beautiful guys. And I'll show you what one of the snake skin. They come in many colors. They normally don't get their colors till they're a month or so older. Uh, I think their maturity level is around three to six months. Depending on which one. But around three months they should have all their coloring. But there's those. Thank you so much, Get Gills. You guys are awesome. Those aren't just tiny, tiny babies like I showed y'all. Those actually have some size to them. Okay. So what we have to do with that is set it in our water and let it get temperature to our water and then take it out. Quit, baby, with the light. Thank you. And right here what we ordered was she replaced it again. 
I hope she didn't have her babies in there and eat them like the last one did. But the last one had to do it to survive. That's the only way that fish could have survived. But let's see. She's a she is a a breeder Dumbo. And she's supposed to be bred to a Dumbo, which are cool. I'll show you one that is actually a mix. Trying to see a gravid spot and see if she's done had her babies or not. Normally they have a spot towards the back where their belly is right there. You can see she's got eggs. Right there is the little bite. She's starting to get babies in there. She has eggs. Let's see up here it's hollow. And down here. So she's definitely carrying. She might have had some and that might be what's floating around in the bag. Some baby she had to live along for 10 days or whatever to live on but she definitely has some babies in her awesome and they're beautiful I'll show you one just like her in a minute and the things here tell how it's kind of like a teal a blue a whitish teal platinum even for a female she's a pretty female thank you so much now this was a bonus for Isabel <laughs> Sword, double sword tail. Um, I, they're a tetra. I'm not sure if they're mixed in. No, no, baby. If they're mixed in, if they're like bred in. I'm doing this live, guys. So this is live action. That must be coming from the blue stuff they put in because I don't see no dead fish. And like I say, it should be three days to get here. Five max. And it's been how many days? Did you imagine the 20 day one? It was rough. These little guys right here, these little ladies and gentlemen are very pretty and they make your tank look good. The colors on them, it's not doing them too much justice, but when they hit that light, man, they just look beautiful. Thank you so much, Geek Gills. You guys are amazing. Beyond words can it's descri it's describe. Alrighty, let me take you guys off the stand for a minute. I'll show you what some of the fish look like. This is a yellow snake skin. He's been being a bad boy. You can't really tell him through the net. He's a really pretty fish. And I bred him with her because she's already yellow and he's already yellow. Um, here's some of the little sword tails swimming around in here. They're pretty little fish. There's my flame. I got to redo stuff. I was doing it earlier, cleaning the filter. When I got the call, the fish was coming. I was like, dang, I didn't make it in time. It's a sunken ship. I got some more rocks to put in here. Like I said, we just start doing, just start now doing this. Um, put some grass over here. Here's a what they call a Mickey Mouse platy. If you look at their tail, it looks just like the Mickey Mouse or Minnie Mouse head. <laughs> and Isabel loves her some Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. So, I had to get a few of those. And you, as you can see, she is about to explode pregnant with babies. You can see coming at me right here. Here is a Dumbo. See his, how big his fins are? His big, what do you call him? Pictorial fins. He's gone now. Check this dude out. He is cool. He's got an orange nose. She's got an orange nose and an orange tail. That'd be a pretty, pretty breed to start out. I think that's kind of a type of a koi, a koi um, that they got breeding in now. I've seen some called a koi guppy and stuff. But here's some of the babies up here I've raised, like I say, within two weeks. That one fish had a few babies and I chunked them in there and they, but you can't throw them in there until they're big enough not to fit in another fish's mouth or they eat them. Here comes one right here. There she is. There's the Dumbo guppy. I mean the mommy. The one like I ordered, I just showed you guys here tail. And different light and she turns there it isn't. There's a Dumbo male. Um I'm not really sure what he he is, but I know by his fins he, he's Dumbo. He could be a full blooded uh gum, Dumbo with uh like a fire tail, I forget what they call him. Like I say I'm just back into this learning process. He actually has the high fin. But um, we have another one back here. I thought that was a female when I bought them in this one. And it actually, when I got it and got to looking, it's not a female, it's a male, like a little male endler. They don't get that big. So, 
Right. I got another little end run here, maybe. Yeah, you know, he he was getting beat up in the middle tank, so I'll just throw him over here for a few minutes. But um, that's a pretty female here. Breed her too. Uh, I had some really pretty ones that died on me. And right here, I think that's the 24 karat something gold. I'm thinking the name of it. He's a really pretty one. The lights right on him. Got a frog somewhere in here. An African dwarf frog or something like that. We got some little catfish in here too for bottom feeders to clean up the bottom. There he goes swimming. He's a spotted green uh, koi catfish. Dwarf koi catfish. Up here we got the seagrass or whatever it is tail. The one in the middle. Can't really see its colors. I'm working on this tank now. I got to take and clean the filter on it. And then there's another one of the Dumbos, but his fins, his front fins aren't as, ex they're, they're not as big as the other one in the other aquarium, but look how beautiful. They look like mini betas swimming around. But, um, there he is. He, look how beautiful. He just ain't got his top fin up. And there, look at him. I like those. Those are really pretty, but me, I like the big fan fancy tails and the big high fins like that. He has it too. This one has it, but he's just not showing it. But yeah, I don't know where our frog's hiding. He's normally up. He's back there. He is. He's back there in the back corner. I don't know if you guys can see him back down in there. Right. Behind the orange plant. Normally he's going up, down, and bounce around. You can see the darkness. He's pretty cool. All right, maybe this video I uh, go in. It's been 16 minutes. I don't want to keep everybody up. So I just want to give like a wonderful shout out to Get Gills. If you guys are looking for anything for fish. I highly, 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 five stars plus recommend them. They will get you what you need. They got what you want. They got beautiful fish. And as you can see, I had a shipping problem before it was even time for her to attempt to do a, um, a claim or whatever you would call it. She done shipped me out. You know what I'm saying? So that just shows how wonderful of a person people are like that. I mean, just... You can tell they're real caring people. Alright guys, until next time, I hope to start catching y'all on some streams as y'all can tell. <laughs> I have my hand full right now. My little girl, she's wanting to get into everything and do everything and have fun. So I've been enjoying her and we've been trying to get things back straight and going. So uh, got her some, like I say, some fish to help. Help her learn responsibility. She gets up, she feeds them. Before she goes to sleep, she feeds them and turns the lights off. And you know, that's how you got to do kids these days. But um, till next time, y'all do what y'all love. Keep rocking. Hope everybody has a blessed day. Take care.